What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to install the new NVIDIA image scaling feature, which will help you increase your frame rate and overall performance in any game you will play on your PC in the future. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. In order to use the NIS feature, you should make sure that your graphics driver is up to date. You can manually download and install the latest driver when clicking on the link in the video description. But I suggest using the GeForce Experience application for NVIDIA users. This will allow you to easily download and automatically install the latest GPU driver. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. When the installation is done, right-click your desktop and select NVIDIA Control Panel. On Windows 11, right-click your desktop and select Show More Options and then you can select the NVIDIA Control Panel. In the Adjust Image Settings with Preview tab, make sure to set this option to Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings and apply your changes. Next, in the Manage 3D Settings tab, navigate to your global settings. Click on the Image Scaling option and make sure to enable it. Set the Sharpening option to around 20%. In some cases, you might want to increase it up to 35%, depending on how much the AI is upscaling your image while using a lower resolution. You should also make sure to tick the Overlay Indicator to know if NIS is enabled while in-game. After making these changes, make sure to apply your changes. Now that this is done, you should reopen your GeForce Experience application. Navigate to your settings when clicking on this gear icon. And in the General tab, you will see the Image Scaling settings. Make sure to enable image scaling from here and then you have the option to choose the best option according to your native monitor resolution and the resolution you wish to game in. While in your GeForce settings, it's suggested to disable the in-game overlay and reward notifications to get the best performance while in-game. In case you have any further issues or problems following this tutorial, then I suggest following my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.